Hi everyone and welcome back to Flex. My name is Jeanette Tiergaard, your presenter for Flex. And now today I will be do, we will be working out our legs, okay? We're going to focus on our legs, we're going to focus on that glutes. Basically your lower body, excluding your abs, alrighty. So guys, we are going to do it the same way we always do it. We're going to start off with the warm up. We're going to go into the workout and then we will end it off in the cool down with some nice stretches. But I hope to see you all after the short break in the warm up. Alright guys, so as I mentioned earlier, we will be doing some dynamic stretches or dynamic warm-ups just to get our body warm and ready. So we're not going to do static stretches, but rather dynamic warm-ups. Alright guys, we are going just to extend our leg to the back as well. So you're going to lie, you're going to slightly bend forward. You're going to have, but you're not going to bend forward a lot guys. And just going to bring up that leg. Okay. So you can also do this movement on your, on all fours. Okay, so just a few seconds and then we're done. If you need to rest while you're bringing that up, then just go for the rest. But I wanted to demonstrate this quickly to you, how you can do this on your knees. Just bring it up. Okay, so with this one, you will just have to keep everything tight and bring it up as far as you can and keep that line straight while you're doing this. So you can decide to stand or you can decide to go onto your knees. Okay, let's quickly just complete the other side as well. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. There we go, awesome stuff guys. So now with this one, I want you to just bring up that leg slightly. Let's open our hips a bit, okay? You're gonna stand up right here and you're gonna go into that one, two, three, and go. One, two, three. So it's like you're climbing over something, but definitely stretching that hip and stretching that groin area, okay? So you really wanna engage everything you don't want to be not engaged in your workouts guys when you do that move you can't just do this one two three and do that again what i'm doing here is engaging my core i'm engaging my leg muscles my glutes and you go one two three and up okay you're really engaging everything you have to engage your glutes while you do this one two three and engage your abs really Try and envision every muscle as you do this. Be present in your workout. Let's go for the other leg. One, two, three. Engaging, guys. One, two, three. Bringing it up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three. Bring that leg up like you're climbing over something. Okay, so I'm also lifting that elbow because naturally if I climb over something, I'm gonna use my elbow maybe just as, as to maintain some balance. Okay, I lost count there. One, two, three. So when you engage your glutes and your abs, you're actually also working on your, you know, these saddlebag areas and of course your glutes as well. Okay, so now guys, we are just gonna do a basic um, lunge so to the side you're just gonna go hip width apart more than hip width apart actually you're gonna point your toes out and you're gonna bend down okay and with this one we are gonna go down okay so this is all you do now throughout this whole thing I turned my feet 
it was first pointed outwards and now it's obviously more comfortable to have them pointing straight okay so going down and if you can go down guys i know your knees can be a problem but you can also just do then just a normal stretch okay and go to the side but try and isolate those muscles as you go down okay so four lunges the lunge is a completely different thing all right so a few seconds five four three two and one okay all right guys so now with this one we are just gonna slightly step in and step out so you just kind of jump in and jump out we're gonna try and cross those legs over as you go okay so now you're on the balls of your feet and you're just crisscrossing it throughout this whole movement okay let's do this in five four three two and one okay so we have awesome open space here at the wanderer sports field and if you guys want to come work out here just do so all right and you can jump around walk around you have a lot of space to work with okay so now guys we're just going to stretch out everything a bit we're going to go into some butt kicks all right so bring up those legs and go for the butt kicks still squeezing your abs keeping everything tight and there we go okay so with this one still squeezing your abs and lifting up that leg three two and one there we go guys that brings us to the end of this warm-up i will see you all in the workout Okay guys, so as I mentioned earlier, we're at the Wanderer Sports Field, so we'll be using the environment a bit to do our workout. So there's this pole thingy here. And I mean, if you go out any place, you know, just let your mind go a bit and just think what you can do with the thing there. But obviously you will need some knowledge. So you can always just read up a bit, see what other people are doing and, you know, follow them and do the same, okay? So with this one, I'm gonna use this pole right here and yes this is not a you know a leg leg workout but guys we're just gonna also strip uh, stretch out our hips with some support that we have from the pole so now you are just gonna bring bring up that leg okay and you're gonna swing it but the whole point is to not just swing your leg you know like just doing it casually you actually want to engage your whole body so you're gonna stand up straight you're gonna squeeze your abs tight and you will start obviously with the back extension and then bring it to the front so there we go so with this one as you guys can see i'm flexing my foot throughout this workout okay so you are flexing your foot you are engaging your glutes while you're doing this and also your uh, calf muscles there we go so stretch it out and let's do that constantly engaging your abs being engaging in your workout can actually turn a thing that looks like a non-workout into a workout guys so you just want to stay stable throughout this movement okay so if you don't have a pole it will literally just look like you're swinging your leg back and forth but with no support so you'll just have to support yourself throughout this whole movement and when you're doing this you're actually engaging um, that glute on your supporting leg you'll definitely feel that muscle working let's go to the other side again supporting yourself and lifting it up okay so you're stretching it out and you're swinging that leg but you're engaging your glutes you're flexing your foot and you're just continuing with the workout 
So you want to keep the swing only in your legs. I don't want you to see, I don't want your whole body to move, guys. Just keep it straight, keep it engaged, and there you go. Okay, so without the pole again, you're just gonna stand up straight, and you're gonna flex it, flexing that foot, and stretching it out. So swinging that leg back and forth, and engaging that glutes as well. So. Now anything that is supporting you can really assist you in your workout. If you have any injuries and you really need it, guys, you're just gonna stand up straight and we are gonna lift our leg like we did in the cool down as well. So your leg extension will be a lot more easier when holding on to something, okay? So you can actually also go deeper into that workout, lifting your leg a bit higher when you have something supporting you, or when you're using something to support you. Okay, so standing up straight, engaging your glutes, and slight bend to the side, and bring it up. Okay, so you can just stay there. You don't have to go down completely, and then lift that leg up. So it's literally parallel to the ground as you lift it up when it's in the sky still flexing your foot throughout and if you can't go too high just go as far as you can go and whatever works for you will definitely work for you in your workout as well so depending on your flexibility level your strength level you can actually make a lot of things work for you just going to the other side still flexing that foot okay so i don't know if you can see my foot in that angle guys but you're just lifting it up and there we go so you're working on that flexibility you're working on your groin and you're lifting it up stretching throughout that glutes and if you engage that glutes and you lift like that oh it's beautiful you'll definitely feel it you will feel your glutes growing all right there we go and that is what we are going to do for that one and then for the next one, we are just going to slightly go down, you know, as a ballerina. So again, using a lot of support can assist you in your workout. Doing it without some support can also be great for you. So, so you're going to stand with your toes pointed out and you're just going to go up and down into a really deep squat, guys, and come back up. So, for different people, different squats work for them. If you're gonna have a narrow squat, you're gonna sit down in a narrow squat. But as you can see, that is not my natural stance. I have a more natural wide stance, okay? So that is why I would go into a deep squat with my feet pointed outwards because that feels good for me and it's a lot more comfortable. So I did a bounce there, which is bad as you go down. Just go down straight and up okay so when people say you have to squeeze your glutes no you don't have to you go up that whole movement of coming up and down is what you're doing to actually work that muscles so with that support use that pole go into a low squat if you can't naturally do that so again if you have to squeeze anything in your squat that would be your abs so and that interior tilt, when you bring it in, that might look like you're squeezing it in when you're coming up. But actually, throughout the whole thing, you have to have your abs engage, okay? So when you do that interior tilt, guys, you will feel like your glutes are going in. But you're trying to get in that interior tilt because you're engaging everything and you're going down up and down so when they say squeeze it in your squat squeeze that abs and there we go okay so now guys again we are going to use this pole a lot today i wish i could move it but we can't do that all right so point that toe and to the back of you okay so the idea would be is to actually stand a bit hip with the not hip width apart, sorry, 
but you're actually just going to stand a bit far apart and pulse that um, leg of yours up pulse it up there you go so ideally you want a straight back when you're doing this looks a bit awkward but you're gonna pulse up your leg okay two and one using the pole as a support let's do the other side real quick five six eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so now again you need a very proper straight back when you're doing this ideally it should look like this where your back and you know from your head to your toes it is a straight line okay all right guys so now we're going to turn over to this side where we have these benches okay so you can use this for your calf muscles you can actually use this to work a lot if you're not comfortable with box jumpers jumps did i just say box jumpers oh my goodness no box jumps guys you can just step up okay but with this one when you're doing the step up it's easily to step up onto something and step down and not get a workout in so it's easily it's easy that you can actually do a movement but you're not doing anything at the same time because constantly you have to engage your muscles okay so when you're going into this you are getting up in by bending your knees so constantly there we go keeping that air tight and coming up okay on the balls of your feet there you go and that is how you move your way to a box jump and that is what you want to do okay so we're going to do the step step ups for a few seconds okay walk up so you don't have good mobility in your legs and your knees that's okay guys you can walk up the way you feel comfortable to walk up okay but constantly engage your abs while you're doing that make sure you are focused on your workout that is the step ups all right now of course if you want to do the jump let's gradually go into the jump and test it out I know a little height or some height can be frightening to people just the fact that um, your feet can get caught in you know that place there and you fall over and you fell, fell face forward that's a real fear but that's not what we're trying to do yeah that's why just stepping onto this will give you a sense of the height okay and then how you normally start with a jump you can start like this okay so that is how you can get comfortable before you lift up both your legs now this one is a bit strenuous on your ankles and your knees but try and keep it in okay I lost my footing there a bit because it's a bit awkward as you go up okay that is how you can modify the way up into a jump let's do a jumps for five jumps um, with both feet let's go okay so that's your first fail and then you'll just do it again and up ideally the best would be to jump on the balls of your feet slowly and step down okay let's do it again slowly step down okay balls of your feet land like a cat i'm not landing like a cat but let's try it again three up four and up step down and up so landing like a cat would be difficult but if you guys can find stable places like this one much more softer but that was also a foul jump okay so you have to stick your landing there we go up stick that landing let's go down so as you jump up go down into that squat 
Good. And up. There we go. And up. That one was also foul. I don't know if you noticed. But guys, that is what we can do with this premises. You can also go into, we're gonna work up, work out our upper body a bit, go into a, um, an incline push up. Okay, so there you go. Modifications to your push up and a few ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's do another five. One, two, no, that was two, and three, and four, and five. There we go. And now we're also going to work on that calf muscles. So holding on to that bench, coming up. Okay, so just stretching it out. So you're engaging that calf muscles in a few minutes actually a few seconds let's count to ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten awesome stuff now if you do more than that you're gonna feel your calves are on fire but guys that is it for this one i'll see you all in the cool down i hope you enjoyed it Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the cool down. That workout was extremely long. But anyway, let's start off with Captain Morgan. Okay, so you basically just gonna stand. Okay, so we're gonna try, you're not really gonna have a proper perpendicular thing going on there, but that's okay. But step out a bit and just stretch into it. Okay, so now this side of the pavilion the bench thingy key i'm using that to rest my foot on and we're going down stretching out that leg extending it completely and up again so you're going to go down and up so feeling that stretch through your workout okay let's do that one so you're definitely going to feel that and it's just a great stretch to stretch out that hips and your groin area and of course okay you can do it the other side as well but because i want to turn my butt and my back to you guys i'm not going to do that one but we are going to also just stretch it out here placing your leg on top of the bench and forward okay so when you're doing that stretch this stretch it's important to not lift your heel off the ground but to actually keep your heel on the ground both here and down there as well so you're stretching through that achilles heel guys it's not necessarily a glute stretch or a hip stretch but it's going through your achilles heel into your calf muscle as well all right and your hamstring okay let's go the other side again so same difference guys so you're not lifting that heel up you're keeping it on the floor and you're stretching through it so the idea is not to get deeper into this because the deeper you go you're going to lift your foot that's not what you want you want to stretch it through your achilles heel your calf muscles and your hamstrings and keep it there you can even wiggle your way a bit more back to get a deeper stretch there we go okay there you are awesome guys we can also go down like this and stretch completely as well so don't fall face first onto this don't be the next meme holding that stretch there again same difference we're stretching into those achilles heels and your calf muscles a lot and there you go point up and go down so i'm just gonna try get a more comfortable spot up and down okay so that is the stretch 
So this is more of a warm-up stretch, but you know, why not work out your calf muscles statically while you're at it. Okay, so now just going to stretch there again into the shoulders, into your back. There we go. Holding it and up. Okay, going down. There you go. Some awesome stuff right there. So try and go more down. Then you'll get a deeper stretch into your back and into your shoulders and into your Achilles heel. Awesome stuff. Let's fall forward a bit. So with this forward fall, this thing is actually perfect to work on that flexibility. Okay. So basically holding against it, leaning a bit back and stretching out. So you're gonna feel that stretch into your hamstrings and you are just gonna try and get a deep, nice stretch. Here we go. And obviously, look where you place your fingers because there's a tons of gum down there, which is very gross. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of our flex workout for today. I hope you all enjoyed it with me and that it would inspire you to get out a bit and to explore what's around you guys. But stay safe when you're out there. That is it from me, Janet Dirkhart, and from the Flex team. Goodbye for now. I will see you all next time.